After you create a pivot table, you can create a pivot chart. You'll have to be careful when you work with the chart though, or you'll end up making some unintentional changes to the pivot table. So I've selected a cell in this pivot table and on my keyboard, I'll press the F11 key and that creates a new sheet with a chart on it. I've got the east and west regions and the two cities within each region. So it looks good and I could change the formatting of this chart or I could delete the title. So any formatting changes that I make don't affect the pivot table. It looks just the way it did before. But if I change the layout, if I change the way things are arranged in this pivot table, there could be problems. So here's the field list and I can see region here. Perhaps I'd just like to see the cities instead of having them split by region or perhaps just the regions. So I'm going to take out the city field and now I just have the two regions. So it's a nice clear chart instead of being split in four, it just shows east and west. But now when I go back to the pivot table, it's also changed. The cities were taken out of there as well. So any changes you make to the layout here will affect the pivot table and vice versa. If I put the city back here, it also affects the chart. There's no setting you can change that will separate the pivot chart and the pivot table, but you could make another copy of the pivot table. So I'll copy this with a control C. I can create a new sheet, paste the pivot table here with control V. So now I've got a pivot table that is not connected to a chart. I can take the region out here and just show the cities. That doesn't affect the chart. The chart is connected to this pivot table. So I could hide this worksheet. Now I've got a pivot table that's visible and a chart that's visible and they're not connected. Changes to one won't affect the other. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.